my beautiful Lang fam. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are all doing really, really well today and that your week has been great so far. So in today's video, we are talking about liquid lipstick. Dun, dun, dun. Liquid lipstick, in my opinion, is one of those makeup items that can look amazingly good or horrifically bad. And aside from that, sometimes it can be just damn hard to work with. So I figured I would do this video just to show you guys a few tips on how to get your liquid lipstick looking really, really good and avoid it looking really, really bad. Also, if you don't already follow me on Snapchat and Instagram, I suggest you come and follow me on there because I do weekly giveaways for my Lang fam. So I do the giveaways on Snapchat. I'll put my handle right here. So come and follow me on Snapchat and then you can join in my weekly giveaways. All right, now let's get straight into the video. So let's start off with don'ts, shall we? Now I am a massive culprit of doing my first don't and that is don't apply your liquid lipstick over crusty dry lips. Oh, it sounds so bad. But yeah, I'm guilty of doing that sometimes. I'm just really lazy and I can't be bothered exfoliating my lips so I just go straight in with my liquid lipstick over my dry lips. When you do that, however, as you'll see, the liquid lipstick then will catch on all those dry areas and because a lot of the time liquid lipstick dries down to a matte, those dry areas or crusty areas on your lips are gonna look a million times worse. So what I suggest you do, quite obviously, is exfoliate your lips first. I'm using this one here from Tarte. I will link it in the description box down below for you. It's a super handy lip exfoliator. I love it. So I recommend you exfoliate your lips before applying any liquid lipstick. This will obviously remove any dry patches of skin on your lips. And as an added bonus, it will also help to plump them and get the blood flow moving around your lips and make them appear bigger. Now, my second don't is not a rule of thumb, but it is to not apply a liquid lipstick with the applicator it comes with. Now the liquid lipstick I'm using today is this one here from Makeup Geek. It's called Waltz and it is one of my favorite colors. I just think it's so pretty. Now I'm not saying anything bad about the applicator that comes with this liquid lipstick because Makeup Geek is amazing and this applicator is also amazing. But if you actually want really precise, perfect liquid lipstick, then I would recommend that you don't apply it with the applicator it comes with purely because you can't get those lines super precise and you also can't easily control the amount of product that you have on the applicator. Another do I would suggest you do before moving on to anything else is moisturize your lips before applying your liquid lipstick. As anybody that's used a liquid lipstick will know, liquid lipsticks can be very, very drying on the lips and kind of feel really uncomfortable. So I recommend that you moisturize your lips prior to putting any makeup on them at all. I'm just using this one here. This is the Dr. Organic Organic Hemp Oil Lip Serum and I'm applying that all over my lips to hydrate them. I'm gonna let that soak into my lips for about five minutes before blotting the excess off. So that way your lips have started out moisturized and they're not going to be able to get as dry throughout the day with your liquid lipstick on top. By the way, this would be a great video for playing a drinking game with. Just have a shot every time I say liquid lipstick if you're over the age of 18 or 21 in America. <laughs> so yes, make sure you blot the excess lip balm off because you don't want that to disturb your liquid lipstick application. Which leads me on to my do, which you've probably guessed, is apply your liquid lipstick with a separate lip brush. I'll be using this lip brush here. This is from Sigma. I'll also link it in the description box down below for you because I do have a discount code for it down there. So check that out. This is a super precise, really easy to maneuver lip brush and I love it. So by using a lip brush instead of the applicator, you get a really, really precise application. You get really neat lines and you just have greater control over how you are applying your liquid lipstick. In my personal opinion, it also goes on far smoother and you get a nicer result. Now my last don't is a kind of tricky one. So you know how I was saying that liquid lipsticks can tend to feel really drying on the lips, especially the matte ones because they dry down to a matte, they kind of suck all the moisture out of your lip and throughout the day you're left feeling really kind of cakey and cracky and uncomfortable. Again, I'm a culprit of this. The first thing I want to do when I feel that feeling on my lips is I want to grab my nearest lip balm and slather it all over my lips for some relief. But if you do that, you've got to be super, super careful. A lot of lip balms or lip moisturizers will actually disturb the makeup and disturb the liquid lipstick and cause it to smudge. Because the majority of lip balms have oil in them, oil actually breaks down makeup. It literally kind of dissolves makeup. And so your liquid lipstick will no longer be set in place and you can end up with it smudging all over your face without realizing it. And nobody wants that to happen. Which leads me into my do-ish. And I say do-ish because it's not really a do, but it's not really a don't. It's kind of just a suggestion. And that is to use, wait, let me get it. This guy here. This is the Smashbox Instamat Lipstick Transformer. Now my suggestion, if you can afford to get this, I'm not entirely sure how expensive it is, but I will link this in the description box down below for you. If you can afford to get this, I recommend that you do purely because it's kind of comforting on the lips. It's not a lip balm. It's not a lip moisturizer or anything like that 
The idea of this is actually to mattify down any lipstick or lip gloss, but I find it really comforting on the lips. So it kind of stops my lips feeling dry, but it doesn't disturb the lipstick or liquid lipstick underneath it. So you can apply this to your heart's content. You can apply it all day, every day. Your liquid lipstick isn't going anywhere, but your lips also won't feel dry. So if you can get this, I recommend that you do, but if you can't and you want to stick with a lip balm over the top of your liquid lipstick to keep your lips comfortable throughout the day and hydrated, then I recommend, if possible, find yourself a lip balm that's oil-free or use whatever lip balm you like, but apply it very, very carefully, patting it onto your lips, not uh, rubbing it onto your lips, and then blot the excess off with a tissue, just so you don't have too much on there and it's not going to smudge your liquid lipstick. And that, guys, is about all the tips I have for you in this do's and don'ts video, so I hope you found some of them helpful. Let me know down below if you did find this video helpful and what you guys want to see next. Remember to come and follow me on Snapchat and Instagram to enter my weekly giveaways. I will put all the links to my social media in the description box down below, and make sure to click subscribe underneath this video if you're not already a part of my Langfam. Thank you so much for watching guys. I love you and I'll see you in my next video.